Hello, I decided to read a story to you outside today because it is such a beautiful day and I hope that you've gotten to spend some time outside with your family. This is called Henry and Mudge Take the Big Test. On a sunny day, Henry and Henry's mother and Henry's big dog Mudge sat outside on their front porch and a man walked by with his collie. Suddenly, the man stopped. Sit, said the man, and the collie sat. Down, said the man, and the collie lay down. Henry and Mudge looked at each other. Then Henry looked at Mudge, and Mudge looked at Henry, and then they both looked at the collie. Stay, said the man. Then he walked a long way down the street. He didn't look back, and the collie stayed. The man turned around another street and disappeared. The collie still stayed. After a while, the man came back. Susie Hill, said the man to the collie, and they both walked down the street together. Henry looked at his mother. Wow, he said, smart dog. Then he looked at Mudge. Heel, Mudge. <laughs> and he walked down the stairs. Um, Mudge decided to roll over and he started to drool. At least he's kind of good at staying, said Henry. Well, said his mom, except when company comes. Well, that's true, said Henry. And when the cat next door visits? Oh, that's true, said Henry. And then when your dad is deciding to mow the grass? Oh, you're right, said Henry. <laughs> Maybe Mudge needs to go to school, said Henry. Maybe, said Henry. Maybe he would have a nice teacher like you do. Maybe, said Henry's mother. Hey, Mudge, do you want to go to school? Mudge snored, and then he drooled. I really, really hope that school has a lot of nap time and some paper towels, said his mother. Henry went shopping for some school supplies for Mudge's first day of school. He bought Mudge a red leash, a silver collar, and a box of dog treats. And he bought himself a paddle ball because he was a little nervous. And he liked to play paddle ball when he was nervous. And he thought, what if Mudge flunks school? Then he thought Mudge might actually drool on the teacher's foot by mistake or sit on a poodle or maybe not even stay awake long enough to do anything. And he started paddleboarding very crazy with him. When the first day of school arrived, Henry and Henry's mother and Henry's big dog Mudge drove along to school. Inside there was a teacher with a lot of treats. This is your teacher, Henry told Mudge. Mudge wagged his tail and he licked his teacher's face. No Mudge, said Henry. Don't worry, said the teacher. I know what to do. And he held on to Mudge's front paws and he wouldn't let go. And he danced Mudge up, then forth, then back, and all around. Mudge didn't like the dancing. So when the teacher let go, Mudge didn't jump up at all again. He was afraid that the teacher would want to dance again. Pretty good teacher, Henry said to his mother. Pretty good, said his mom, and the teacher gave Mug a hug and a treat. So far, school was kind of fun. Mudge was not the best student. He was not a perfect student. He didn't like to lie down much. He kind of liked to snip other students, and he liked to think about a lot of other things. But he always showed up to school and he always wagged his tail and he always tried to give his teacher a kiss. <laughs> At home, Henry practiced a lot with Mudge. They practiced in the backyard with a bunch of treats. Mudge did some things right and he got a treat. And when he did some things that weren't so right, he heard, oh, Mudge. After a few weeks, Henry needed two pockets full of treats. 
because Mudge was getting almost everything right. He sat when he heard the word sit, he would heal when he heard the word heal, and he would stay when he heard stay. Well, most of the time, except when the cat next door came to visit. Henry and Mudge went to dog class for eight weeks. They worked very hard and they went through many boxes of treats. The last day of class was the big test. Henry and his parents and Henry's big dog Mudge arrived early. The teacher decided where they would go. Matt Mudge was going after a beagle. Good dog Mudge, said Henry. We can do this. Okay Mudge, let's see what you can do. Sit, said Henry, and Mudge sat down. Down, said Henry, and Mudge lay down. Stay, said Henry, and Mudge stayed. Henry walked all the way around and didn't look back. He sure hoped Mudge would stay. Mudge did it. When Henry came back, he saw Mudge was just lying in the same place, wagging his tail. He gave Mudge a big hug and a kiss and two treats. Mudge took the teacher's hand and he said, you passed the test. He got a fancy certificate and a gold ribbon and a giant dog biscuit. Henry's father and mother clapped. Wow, said Henry's father. Smart dog, said Henry's mother. He's a great dog, said Henry. Mudge wagged at them and barked and drooled one last time on his teacher's foot. The end. I like this story because I had a dog named Duke and he was a very big golden retriever. And we went to school and he had a very hard time learning stay. But finally, after a lot of practice, at the end of the class, he passed the test and he learned how to stay. I hope you had a great time with your family and I will see you soon. Leave me a note and tell me if you like the story.